Walker. Everybody look at East Bay. Action on the cheer. Burn her! In cut! Cut! Do you want the boots right. on? What's next? A jacket or a blanket? Thanks, Dad. The story was really inspired by a dream. I've, uh, I like fairy tales a lot. I grew up with the Brothers Grimm's fairy tales. So, it was, yeah, I really started with this dream and then I developed it in a writing class, my first semester at UT. Kind of slow, slowly evolved in workshops. And it was actually a really big production for UT. <laughs> and I almost wasn't going to do it this year. But I, I have like this deal with myself that whatever project I have, whatever I'm really, really passionate about, no matter how challenging it is, I have to do it. That's the priority. So. It's the story of um, a grandmother and a granddaughter, and especially their relationship. Um, they live in this little sh shack in the middle of a field. Uh, there's some kind of secret between them. There's a little bit of tension. And uh, the secret uh, is uh, what happened to um, Iris's parents, the girl's parents. We find out what the secret is in the scene, which is the puppet show. Basically, what the granddaughter realizes is that the puppet show she's seen every year is a little different this time around, and that's how she finds out secret. She approaches her work in sort of a thematic perspective um, rather than a purely character or melodrama based perspective. So we talked a lot about you know the the symbols, the feelings of things, the colors. The same sort of way that I, I approach my own movies which is why it seemed like a, a project that, that I could relate to. Iskra wanted Iris Moon to be this really mystical Eastern European unspecified period um, kind of uh, tone where the mother is very mystical, cool, cool colors, and Maka is more of warmer tones where um, it's more earthy. Same with Iris, she's a little earthy. Almost all of our early conversations are really more about story and really hashing out um, a lot of the symbols. Um, ships, ocean are big symbols here, even though we're not by the ocean and we don't. We only have the ships in terms of the, you know, the, the puppet show. So we got this shack out in the middle of this huge field to be like a ship out in the middle of the ocean with the waves in the back. So lucked out on this location <laughs> and on a crew that built the shack. <laughs> it wasn't easy to find a location like that, mostly because we needed a huge open field without basically 360 degrees of wilderness because <laughs> we're shooting all around this house. And we had some issues in the fact that, you know, we are in central Texas and getting characters to do not speak in a Texan drawl is sometimes difficult because you, you can't have your, your Middle Eastern folk talking like this. So it's really kind of hard for a while. And the casting process was difficult because there were some people with some pretty severe accidents that were coming up for the parts. And, you know, it was a family we were casting. So it had the sound the same uh, and yet none of them had the sound Texan. Tonight is the puppet show where Maka, the grandmother, uh, performs this little puppet show for an audience, people that come in once a year, and Iris always does music for it, so that makes it more interesting and things like that. And so uh, the composer wrote something for me to play tonight, and um, I, I'm playing the intro of it, and... Uh, I don't really have the rest memorized, so <laughs> this will be interesting. <laughs> I play the mysterious woman that might be related to Iris, might not. We're not sure. I wear a lot of blue. Um, and uh, it's really fun to get to work on this project because Tiger and I really are mom and daughter, and yeah. we don't get to do that very often, so, so this is really fun. This is when Iris catches her eye for the first time. She's never noticed it because she's been so involved with the show. This is when you see her 
So basically, that's like your reaction to her. Does she see me? She sees you. Yeah. So okay. you look into each other's eyes. Okay. That might be the last time you look into each other's eyes. Okay. So at the beginning, when you see your first landlord, mm -hmm. you basically bring out each puppet in their space. So the sailor is going to be on the left. It's going to be as a wanderer. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's going to have a ship for you when we sail it all. And we're going to come out of the first line. Okay. And we were rehearsing again before we were all. We're actually really lucky. We had a beautiful day yesterday. It's gotten slightly warmer each day, so I was really, really worried. We started on Friday night and it was freezing. It's still, you know, 40 degrees, which is nothing to, you know, laugh about, but it's it's much more comfortable and people seem to be in good spirits. So our, our biggest challenge tonight is safety, <laughs> that we don't burn anything down, knock on whatever, and, um, you know, dealing with children and, and extras and all that kind of stuff, just that everything goes safely and smoothly and that we get all our shots. Oh, oh. lost the generator. Did we lose both of them? Here's some jackets. Anybody need jackets. Anyone need any? Anybody needs to be covered? Nope, it's so warm. All right. generators just went down. We focus if we focus on the second Everybody's row, you'll still get her yeah. in focus. Um, by I'm having gonna, two I'm, feet to uh, uh, wiggle to room. Okay. Sounds ready. Gate's good. You have one of each. You have one of each, but this includes a tilt. So I don't know how, how fast is the tilt. You don't have a close-up. You have to ask it, maybe, just yeah. to make sure. Mm -hmm. You have this coming in, and you have this coming up. Do you want to have them? The wires stand up? No. No, like people... Oh, the people obscuring it? That's from Myers' point of view. Okay. So, yeah, I thought it was standing up. It's just different variations. I'm gonna go check. Yeah, okay, I understand. Okay. Sorry. In the wide one, we're doing just the... So many people have been involved in this project. I've gotten so much help. It's a super low-budget production. It's, it's a cool project. And really, it's happening because of all these people. I mean, yeah, it's... <laughs> I'm really grateful to have so much help with it. I just hope it turns out well. Too short. Although it feels like a feature, it takes as much. I've I've produced a feature, and uh, this has been just as challenging. It's really a big, ambitious piece, and if we pull it off, we'll have a nice little golden piece. I think. I think it'll be great. This is uh, about where we want it. I mean, Javier looks great in this light. He should have this shit at home for his wife. Because <laughs> she's like a two-way. The backlight. Like I would if I could take this light. Walking so. around with it like. That. I know, right? <laughs> you go like, what, baby? <laughs> what do you think I like my house with? <laughs> right now, like, what's overwhelming me is like this feeling of gratitude <laughs> for all the help that we've been getting. I think that's pretty unique. <laughs> and yeah, I'm just extremely happy with all of my cast and crew. I just, I just feel really lucky 